All right, go ahead. What do you want me to do? I thought you were introducing me. What? I thought, what are we doing? You're the one making the video. What do we got? Yo, I got the H and R Springs. <laughs> what you want me to discuss, bro? You got to start it off. I don't, I'm not the intro guy. You're not the intro guy? All right. Alright guys, so we have two chargers here, uh, one better looking than the other. I will not get into uh, which one I like better, but the blue one has Eibach Sportline lowering springs and the other has H&R lowering springs. Now the H&R, does it have specific um, aggressiveness and drops like what the Eibach has? From what I went through when I did the, the research, these are supposed to be sitting higher. Now, I don't know why with the H&Rs, everyone says they are lower, but you with the okay, but Okay, so the H&R, do they have like a pro, a sport line, yes, like levels? Yes, they have an H&R, and then they have the H&R Sport. I went with the H&R Sport. So these are the regular H&Rs? Sport. Sport, these are sports, sports. so it's, yeah, this is the most sport. aggressive drop that H&R has. No, there's a Sport Plus, which sport. drops it even lower, Okay. you won't make it a regular <clears throat> So this one has the Eibach with the most aggressive uh, drop that you can get, and this has the H&R Sport, which is kind of their middle of the ground. There's yeah. still one that's a little bit more aggressive. And the idea uh, behind this is to kind of give you guys feedback if you're looking for uh, either of the two and to show you the difference in the drop. Uh, so first off, we'll, we'll start off with the fronts here and this way you guys could check out the wheel gap. Now both of them just have the springs alone. So you'll be able to see, I, I think that this is a more aggressive drop yeah. than the sport lines in the front. So we'll work our way to the back here. And the, the back is undoubtedly more aggressive on the H&R. Now, we even rubbed with the H&R. You even said it, not now, right? With your tires now, you don't rub or you do? You so do with the, the Eibach Sportline, um, every once in a while, if I'm, if I'm like on the highway and I'm going way too fast and a huge dip, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll hit, but it's not, it's not a common occurrence. Okay. So I don't really do it often. So do you, now do you rub or anything along those lines with this? When I had the Hellcat replica rims, well, I did the same thing. When you would hit a dip at 80 miles an hour, I rub with these ones. I don't rub. I know these offsets are a little different. Maybe they're tucking the rim in a little bit more, Okay. but I do not rub period. Now. So s since the rims, you really haven't run into the issue. All right, and you know I'm not going to get too far into pricing because really they're they're, they're a couple bucks. Difference. Yeah, they're, they're just a couple of buck difference. So uh, it's more so a matter of styling. And uh, I'm going to jump into his car, and uh, I'll tell you guys an honest feedback. You know which is better, which is um, you know just which is a better drive. So the next portion of this review is supposed to be me driving the Charger RT with uh, the H&R lowering springs. It's so loud. It's so loud. It goes nowhere though. <laughs> That's the best part. Uh, but after reviewing the footage and, and, and trying to listen to what we were saying, uh, it's very difficult. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what I experienced and then you could watch the footage after this. Uh, I think there's something wrong with my camera phone, so I'm going to have to get that looked at. Um, now, we kind of took it on some really crappy roads. This way, we I could get a better understanding of how it how it handles, you know, potholes and bumps and um, inclines, declines, that kind of stuff. I mean, honestly, I think it drives similar. I don't think you would notice too much of a difference between the two. I uh, and I have to say that it responds very similar to the Eibach Sportline um, lowering springs. 
the only difference would be that I think it's a little bit stiffer. And after a bump, after a pothole, uh, it seems to recover a little bit nicer uh, than the Eibach Sportline. The Sportline does kind of float a little bit, like what Sean uh, said while we were uh, talking. Uh, he had both setups. He had the Eibach Sportline and then the H&R lowering springs. Um, both of them are just the springs alone, uh, no nothing else you know messed with with the suspension so it's apples to apples uh so really what i can recommend for anybody that's looking into a lowering spring it really should come down to the price that you want and the style uh the h&r drops the charger and it has a much lower stance than the eibach the eibach lowers the front and it lowers the back a little bit but you have more of an angle like the back peaks up just a tad more um now as far as performance and everything you know that's i don't i have no clue we, you know we're both in in chargers so you know taking it to the track for for some you know testing is is not really in the cards uh so really for this is just for people that are looking to lower their car for for looks you know and styling and um both of them have you know, negative camber on there. So you're going to lose a little bit of traction, either which one you choose. Um, and yeah, the, obviously a, a big factor is always pricing. So um, after looking up the pricing of both of them, there is a little bit of a price tag difference uh, between the both of them. So you know, guys, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you the, the footage of us driving. Uh, but I hope this review helps in some light uh, if you're deciding between either of the two. So uh, with that being said, let's take a look at that footage. So here you got some potholes, you got wires, you got two little bumps, you know what I mean? Take this all the way down to Sunrise and we'll just make it right. I would say, I think this, you know, with my limited driving, yeah, and we went down nice road. Yeah, I'll tell you, I, I, um, I'm actually a little surprised that the ride is, is so similar, being that this is so much more aggressively dropped. You know what I mean? Either. And it's it's labeled as higher settings. Like I said, your front is supposed to be a 1.6 drop. Your rear is going to be, I think, a 1.7 to a 1.8 with the iBox Sport Lines. This is a 1.4 drop in the front and only a 1.6 in the back. I don't understand how where they 
they got these numbers from because that's, I mean, you can yeah. see I'm way, way lower. Not way lower, but we're lower. She gave us the finger, too. Gave us yeah. The finger. I was in the, I was in the shoulder anyway. Yeah, she's, uh,